Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore how to actually work with significant figures when we do operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and so forth. So when we add numbers together, subtract, multiply, how many significant figures should we have in the answer? Well, that depends on the operation. For example, here we have two numbers that we're adding. One number has five significant figures. The other has two significant figures. So what should be the number of significant figures in the final answer? Well, let's go ahead and do the addition and see what we get, and we'll ignore significant figures for now. So here we have 6 plus 0 gives us 6, 5 plus 0 gives us 5, 4 plus 5 gives us 9, the decimal place 2 plus 4 is 6, and we have the 1 here. So at first it would appear that if we add those two numbers together, our answer will have 5 significant figures. Then you may say, well, wait a minute, since this one only has 2, should the answer only have 2 significant figures? Well, with addition, that's not the rule. The rule is you look for the number of decimal places each number has. This number has three decimal places, this number has one decimal place. The answer should have the least number of decimal places depending upon the numbers you're adding. So you take the number with the least number of decimal places, that should be the number of decimal places in the answer. Since this number has one, you should only have one decimal place here. That means you will have to round. So let me use my, my red pen here. So you're going to cut it off right here. but Will this stay a 9 or will that be bumped to the next number? And since the next decimal place is a 5 and then you have a 6 behind it, 56 is greater than 50, therefore we need to bump this up and the answer should be 17.0 with three significant figures. That is the proper answer as far as significant figures is concerned. Looking at this number right here, we're going to subtract 16.502 from 35.2. Well, to do that, we're going to add two zeros. Now, are these two zeros significant right here? And the answer is, of course not. We just added them so that we can make do the subtraction. So we have 10 minus 2, that gives us 8. Subtract 1, that's 9 minus 0, that gives us 9. 2 minus 1 is 1. Bar 1, that's 11 minus 5, which is 6. We borrow 1, that would be 4 plus 10, that's 14 minus 6, which is 8. 2 minus 1, which is 1. So what is the proper number of significant figures here? Remember, we had three here. Here we had five. How many should we have? Well, it doesn't really matter how many significant figures each of the two numbers had. It only matters how many decimal places we had. There was only one decimal place over here. There were three decimal places over here, so we should only have one decimal place right there. Again, that means we're going to cut it off at this point. But since this is bigger than five, we should add one to here, so the answer would be 18.7. That would be the proper answer in this particular case regarding significant figures. Now let's look at this multiplication here. When you have multiplications like this, the number of significant figures in the answer will equal the number, the least number of significant figures of any of the numbers that you're multiplying together. In this case, we have two significant figures there, we have three significant figures there. Since we're multiplying, the answer should only have two significant figures. So let's go ahead and do the multiplication. 6 times 3, that's 8, 1. 24, that's 5, 2. 12 plus 2 is 4. 5, that's 15. That's 21, 2. That's 10, that's 12. Added together, that's 8. 0, 1, 6, 3, and 1. All right, so assuming that's correct, first of all, what's the decimal, uh, the location of the decimal place? Since we have one decimal place here, we're going to have one decimal place there. And now we have to reduce that to the correct number of significant figures. Notice we had three significant figures here, we had two significant figures there, that means we need two significant figures there. Go ahead and put parentheses around because it's just a number of significant figures, which means we have to cut it off right here. Notice we will have to round this number up because this is 13 and a 6 behind it. So the proper number is 14, and instead of writing it like 1400, we're going to use what we call scientific notation. So this becomes 1.4, and we have uh, decimal places, 1, 2, 3, that would be times 10 to the third, that would be the proper answer for this particular multiplication. See, that looks a little bit odd, but the answer is, well, you have no choice because you only knew this one to two significant figures, this one to three, so the answer should have only two significant figures. However, an old professor of mine, which I had a lot of respect for when I, took, when I went to college, said that if the number in the front is a one, you can ignore that as a significant figure. In other words, it is permissible then to go an additional number for significance. In other words, 
you may also want to write this as far as, as this way 1.36 times 10 to the third the reason for that is that the one in front kind of makes it difficult to give appreciation to the fact that this is a much bigger number 56 than 14 and therefore by using this as a significant figure it kind of skews your ability to give the correct significance to the answer so it is acceptable not everybody would accept that or know this that you can say the one is not significant so I need two more decimal places here in order to make this a more accurate result of this particular multiplication so the one sometimes can be ignored if they do that in my classroom that would be perfectly fine I tell my students either one of these answers would be correct coming over here we have a division now for that I'm going to need a calculator otherwise I'll spend so much time working it out but since, let's say we take the number 2156 oops, 2156 and we divide it by 3.48 now this my calculator will give me the following result my calculator will give me the result of 619.540 now notice that the two numbers involved the first number had four significant figures let me go ahead and use a red pen so this one had four this one had three when we're dividing the rule is just the same as multiplying I should only have three significant figures in the answer so in this case I can only use the first three numbers I take a look at the first, fourth one to see if I should round down or round up because I'm going to cut off all these numbers right here they're no longer significant but since this is 54 which is bigger than 50 I should round up and the answer should be written as 620 now again there may be the possible confusion that this is significant or not so you could also write it as 6.20 times 10 to the third so depending upon what's acceptable in your classroom you write it like this to be certain or you write it like that if you know your professor will accept that as a proper answer and finally let's take the square root of 48.6 again I'll use my calculator so we have 48.6 take the square root of that my calculator will give you the following number so this would be equal to 6.97 0023 again of course these numbers are by no means significant they don't mean anything at all just because your calculator spits them out doesn't mean that those have any particular meaning now you notice there's three significant figures there which means you should only have three significant figures there these are the only significant numbers since this is a one here you can go ahead and drop that and the answer should be written as 6.97 to be correct in terms of significant figures so that's how you deal with significant figures in the various calculations you can see that that is kind of important because if you start writing these kind of answers down that means that you really don't appreciate the fact that the numbers involved in the calculation did not have that kind of accuracy and should not introduce accuracy that didn't exist in the first place so that's how you deal with significant figures especially when you deal with physics